Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how you can configure remote access VPN with using Forti client as a dialog VPN type. So here, as you can see, that I have taken one diagram from the Forti Gate website. So with this diagram, you can easily understand how can how we can configure dialog VPN with using Forti client, right? So in this uh, diagram, you can see that uh, there is a laptop, right? In this laptop, we have installed uh, Forti client uh, VPN, Forti client application in this laptop, right? So I'll, I'll access this internal network, right? So if I talk about this internal net and this diagram a little bit, so as you can see that this is a user who's accessing internal network over the internet, right? So I'll install uh, Forti client application uh, in this laptop, right? So I'll use uh, this gateway, right? This gateway, uh, I'll configure this gateway in this Forti client. Then I can access this internal network, right? So before that, I want to show you uh, what lab I have designed, right? So as you can see that this is the my uh, diagram, right? Lab setup, right? Which I have made uh, myself, right? Let me tell you a little bit about this diagram. So as you can see that this is the router, right? Which is connected this L2 switch. And apart from this uh, Windows machine, which is connected to this uh, port, I mean Ethernet 0 slash 24, and both interface, I mean Ethernet 0 slash 20, uh, 0, 0 slash 0, and 0 slash 2, uh, which belongs to VLAN 10, right? I have configured VLAN 10 on this L2 switch, right? After that, I have configured trunk, uh, I made this trunk port, right? I have configured uh, uh, Ethernet 0 slash 1 as a trunk port. And uh, if I talk about port 2, right, on port 2, I have configured VLAN 10, right, on in the 40 gate firewall, right, I have assigned this IP address, right. So one more thing I would like to tell you, on the router, I have configured Telnet, right. So I have configured uh, Telnet on this router, so I will access from outside this uh, router, I will access this uh, router remotely, right. So if I talk about port 1, right, port 1, which is connected to the, uh, the internet cloud, right, uh, in this diagram. So internet cloud is nothing but uh, I can say that uh, this uh, cloud, which is connected to my mobile hotspot network, right. So this cloud, my hotspot network is providing internet to this 40 gate firewall, right. So port one, which uh, uh, is configured, uh, right, mm, 192.16. Uh, so if I talk about uh, port one, so on the port one, I have configured 192.168.78.66-24, right? So similarly, so I have connected one physical uh, laptop, right? So this. Uh, physical laptop uh, which is connected to the same my Wi-Fi network right which is belongs to the same network so because uh, why I'm doing like this in this lab because I don't have any uh, PC in my lab right due to uh, some limitation I mean I don't have a, a RAM right enough uh, sufficient you can say sufficient RAM in my lab so I don't have sufficient uh, RAM in my lab laptop that's why uh, I am using this physical machine, right? So we can check out that uh, whether this user, I mean, let's suppose this is a user who is sitting outside and this user wants to access this router. So how can uh, the, uh, this user access this uh, router, right? So I hope you have understood what I'm trying to say here, right? So this is the uh, laptop, right? Which is connected to the same Wi-Fi network, and this uh, user uh, should be reachable, right? Uh, uh, via this port, right? I mean, this IP address should be reachable uh, uh, through this uh, laptop, right? 
so if there is no connectivity between this port, uh, this uh, gateway so you cannot uh, establish uh, vpn right you cannot set up a vpn right until and unless uh, this uh, ip will be reachable right so let me show you the diagram let me show you the diagram which i have set up in my lab right so as you can see that this is the lab setup right so you can see that uh, telnet is enabled on this router let me take the console of this router then i can show that uh, first i'll show you the connectivity proper connectivity is there or not So it is taking time because due to uh, RAM, right? So, okay, my firewall has been logged out. As you can see that uh, I'm able to log in my firewall, right? So one more one more thing I forgot to tell you that uh, this is the PC, right? Which is connected to a port 10, right? So this uh, PC is providing GUI access uh, to this 40 gate firewall. That's why I have connected, right? So let me check out, uh, check out uh, first of all, connectivity, whether uh, there is internet connectivity at my 48 firewall or not. Okay, as you can see that connectivity is there, internet connectivity, right? Let me ping again, my two LAN PC 10.1.1.1. Okay, I'm also able to ping my router, right? Educate ping 10.1.1.2. Okay. Can you see that uh, I'm not able to ping, right? Let, let me check it out first of all. By this Windows machine. Ping 10.1.1.10. Okay, I'm able to reach my gateway. So connectivity should be reachable. Let me check it out again. Okay. Let me check first of all IP address. What IP address I have configured here? IP config. Okay. IP address is 10.1.1.2. So let me ping 10.1.1.1.2. Okay. Still I'm able to ping, but I'm not able to ping from the firewall so might be firewall be on in the pc let me check it out first Let me check it out first. Console. So, VLAN brief. The port is already is there, VLAN is assigned Let me check it again uh, 
टर्न ऑन विंडो यू के टर्न ऑफ पर वो इज ऑफ Gateway is able to ping, but I'm not able to ping this machine from the and not one dot two dot two. Which in this IP. Okay, leave it. I'll check it out. But we have to check. We have to configure IPsec VPN. So don't worry. I'll look it later. So let me show you what I have to first. I have to configure user right, user group, then set up VPN configuration. So I'll go step by step from here, right? Okay, let me check it out first of all whether I am able to ping. Then I come on the phone. Then I take ping. Then I come on the phone. Okay. Only issue is as you can see that I am able to reach uh, to my router from this uh, firewall, right? But I am not able to reach this machine. It might be there will be issue at the fire at the Windows machine, right? So sometimes it happens in my lab, right? So leave it. So as you can see that 
I have to configure this step, but and later I will also show you a mail based two factor authentication right in the 40 client. So let's configure first of all user, right? So before that, I would like to show you as you can see that there is no policy in the firewall, and I have configured what single default route towards the my. towards the my gateway so interface configuration as you can see that this is the my port one right which is acting currently one interface and port two under the port two i have configured vlan 10 right so now we have to configure first of all user right so first i'll configure user so let me show you what uh, configuration i have done here So as you can see that VPN username will be test and password test at the rate 123, right? So here as you can see that remote radius user, right? So this is this is the remote this uh, this configuration will be for remote authentication. If you have a remote authentication server, then you can select it. Either you can select local. So in my case, I don't have any uh, remote radius server or any TACAC server, LDAP server. So that's why I, I, I am configuring local user. Test, test, and the rate one, two, three. Next. So two factor authentication, I'll, I'll show you later. Right, leave it and submit. So now I have to configure uh, VPN group. So my so here you can see forty VPN group. Right, uh, you can give any of the name. Right, so I'll add that uh, user right here in this group. So as you can see that forty client group will be my VPN group. Right. So now I have to configure the VPN setting, right? So under the VPN setting, I'll follow it IPsec wizard, right? So name, I'll access a remote, remote 40 VPN, right? So template type will, uh, will be remote, right? And uh, remote device type client and 40 client I use. So I don't uh, use, uh, Currently, I will not use a native a native and Windows, right? In the previous video, I have already told you how you can configure uh, native, right? Dollar VPN with using native, right? So I'll use uh, client uh, based 40 client. I'll use 40 client application in my laptop. Next, an incoming interface. Incoming interface will be what your WAN interface, which is my port one. As you can see that IP address of port one. So I'll use port one, right? And pre-shared key, I'll use, let me show you the pre-shared key as well for demonstration purpose. Pre-shared key will, uh, will be admin at the rate one, two, three. As you can see, group 40, uh, 40 VPN group that I configured a few minutes ago, right? Next. And local interface, local interface, I'll choose one interface. As you can see that 10.1.1.0 slash 24 belong this VLAN group, right? So I'll, I'll use this interface, uh, right? So I haven't configured any IP address on this uh, port two. That's why I have configured under the port two VLAN 10. That, that's why I will use VLAN 10, right? Local address I will use. So local address, I will use LAN network, right? So, so as you can see that I have only single network in my network, right? Let me show you. So as you can see, this is the single network, right? So let me 10.1.1.1.0 slash 24. This is the network, right? So even though I have already written here, right? So don't worry, let me delete it. So I'll use it here. So client range. 100.1.1.1 100.1.1.1.5 i'll use this from 1 to 5 only 5 at this right and submit mask i'll use less uh, 32 which is uh, default right 
and the DNS server I'll use uh, use DN, uh, use system DNS. You can uh, use your DNS server as well, but I'll use this uh, right because I don't have any DNS server in my lab. So enable split uh, internal I'll use which is default. Then next and uh, click next and create. So you can see that uh, VPN has been set up right. So you can see tunnel list here. So as you can see that currently tunnel is down. Why tunnel is down currently? Because, because there is no traffic is generated from the VPN user. That's why is it, it is currently showing down. If you see that configuration here as well. So you can check it out what configuration I have done here. So as you can see, right? Okay. So as you can see that uh, you, you will see one more policy which is created, uh, has been created default, right? So as you can see that there is a default policy which is created just after creating VPN, right? So as you can see that incoming interface, uh, which is my tunnel interface, right? And outgoing interface, which is my LAN interface, as you can see this, this subnet, right? Which is configured on port 2, right? And land destination network, a remote address. Remote address will be what? VPN address group. So as you can see that while creating conf while configuring a VPN, uh, I have used this address, right? Only five address, right? So destination will be uh, 10.1.1.0 slash 24. You can add one uh, as per your requirement, right? So services, as you can see that in my lab, I use, use all service. Right, but uh, uh, if you are if if you are working uh, in your organization, so you must uh, define that which services uh, should be used or uh, not. Right, it's depend on you which services you are using. So, net net currently you can see that uh, tunnel net is on. Right, so leave it. I'll I'll leave it default. Uh, I'll leave it default. Right. So I'll show you what if you enable net. So what will happen, right? So and I'll use security profile antivirus and IPS, right? So an application filter you can use uh, according to your uh, license, right? So session and okay. So as you can see that. Currently, there is no traffic, right? Once VPN, uh, once VPN user will be uh, will be connected, then you can see here tra traffic as well as. So now we have to install a 40 client BP a 40 client application in in our laptop. So how you can download? Let me show you. Just go to the Google and download from here, right? You can type here download 40 client. As soon as you, you enter this uh, keyword, so you will redirect from this website, right? On the 40 gate official 49.com. So go down and you will see from here, right? 40 client VPN. So just click here, uh, download, right? Down, uh, download VPN for Windows. You can choose your as uh, per your iOS, right? So I am using Windows machine. So that's why I have downloaded this. Uh, application so let me let me i have already downloaded so let me show you how you can configure so as you can see that i have already downloaded it so i'll show you how you can set up i mean configure So as you can see that I have uh, created one test. So don't leave it. So I'll show you. Okay. New connection. Add new connection. And here you have to use right IPsec, and you can uh, put here uh, any of the name. Let's suppose I have given a VPN. And you will use a remote gateway. Remote gateway will be uh, your WAN IP address, right? On which you have created VPN. So my address will be 
192.168.78.66. So here I'll use 192.168.78.66. And pre shared key, I'll use here uh, what admin at the rate 123. Right, then click OK. Okay, VPN duplicates. So you can put here VPN uh, second as well as. Right, so as you can see, the moment you will connect, so it will uh, so pop up. Right, so you have to enter here your username and password. So I have shown here only for demonstration. So I have one more PC. Right, as I told you in the beginning of. Uh, this uh, uh, lab right i have one physical machine right you can see i have one physical machine right which is connected on this subnet right which is uh, which is reachable from uh, this uh, network right to this 40 gate firewall right in the real uh, network what you will see your your uh, gateway will be reachable any of the location right so currently this ip address is reachable from this my physical machine so I'll, I'll configure uh, this gateway on that machine and uh, username and password as, as well as. So let me show you. Tunnel is currently down. If you see, currently uh, is down. Uh, let me configure the uh, VPN setting in the 40 client, right? Once I'll configure, you will be able to see that this tunnel, tunnel will be up. Okay, my laptop is connected to this 40 gate firewall. I mean, VPN is connection is established. So you will be able to see the tunnel will be up. So as you can see, so let me show you one thing as well as get router info or routing table all. So as you can see that uh, this is the IP address, right? Which is getting from this DSP server to my uh, remote user machine, right? VPN user, right? This is the VPN user IP address, right? Let me show you once I disconnect this uh, remote uh, tunnel. So this address will be disappeared from here, right? This routing table. Let me disconnect this. Okay, let me disconnect from the my laptop. Okay, so can you uh, see that tunnel is down and this IP address, I mean static IP address has been removed from this routing table, right? I have just disconnected my VPN, right? So tunnel will be down, you can see here as well. Right now, I'm going to again connect the VPN right from my remote machine. Okay. You will be able to see that get router info routing table all. So, as you can see, there is no uh, remote VPN connected. Okay, so can you see that I'm I'm getting this IP address to my remote machine, my in my, my laptop, right? So also you can see the tunnel tunnel is up right now.
can you see let me let me let me show you first of all the router right and it will work so i print the field grip so as you can see that my router IP address this one and I am able to reach 10.1.1 which is my firewall IP address right so user so user okay so run section Okay. So running configuration. I want to show you the telnet configuration, right? So as you can see that username is configured, right? So now I will ping from outside. My I mean from the VPN uh, user, right? Who is accessing the VPN? debug ip icmp right so you will be able to see that here uh, ip icmp equal request and icmp equal reply can you see that i am able to access right so interesting thing is that 40 gate firewall is translating the IP address. It is using 10.1.10, which is the out, I, I mean, VLAN interface IP address. Let me show you. In the policy, NAT is enabled. That's why uh, you are not able to see that uh, remote VPN IP address. So I'll disable this uh, NAT, right? So you will be able to see that remote IP address, which is 100.1.1.1. Right. So let me show you. Again, I am going to try ping from the remote machine. I'm I'm in VPN user. Can you see that this is the VPN IP address, right? So if you do not use a NAT, so you will be able to see that uh, remote VPN IP address. And if you use NAT. So it means you will not be able to see that which VPN user is accessing this server, right? So it depend on you how you want to do that, this, right? So now I'm going to access this router, right? Let me show you. So what happening here? So I have enabled NAT in this uh, firewall for remote VPN user, right, in the policy. So if you enable NAT, right, what will happen, whatever traffic is coming from the VPN, right, uh, to this firewall. So, uh, so what will happen, firewall translate this IP, I mean uh, VPN user, right, on this um, uh, IP address, I mean 10.1.1 will be transferred VPN IP address to this server, right. So only this IP address, I mean exit interface of port 2 uh, will be able to, you, you will be able to see on this uh, server, I mean router, you will not be able to see VPN user, right, VPN user's IP address. So it's depend on you, if you disable NAT on this 48 firewall in the VPN policy, then you can see that, uh, IP address of the VPN user, right, in the this device, right. So now I have disabled that uh, NAT, right. So now what I'm going to see, I'm going to show you, I will uh, access uh, this router from outside using Telnet. Let me debug, I, uh, let me debug, let me debug today, Telnet, right, right. So as you can see, telnet debugging is on in this firewall, right? Uh, in this router. So you will see that uh, what you will see, uh, you will be able to see that uh, BP, uh, VPN log as well. Uh, I mean NAT log as well as who is accessing this router from outside, right? So right uh, here, as you can see that I have enabled on this router telnet, right? So I I will access I will access this router I will access this router from outside 
to this machine, right? So that's why I, I want to show you. Let me try to tell that from outside. Can you see? So can you see that I'm able to access this machine from outside, right? So let me, right, I try to ping, right? Let me show you. So IP interface brief. So as you can see that there is one interface IP address is configured, right? So I'll, I'll configure one uh, IP address on this port, right? From the remote, you, uh, remote from the VPN machine, right? Let's suppose I am sitting uh, Dubai. So I access this router from the over the internet, right? So you will be able to see. Now, as you can see that logs as well, so I have interface brief. So as you can see, right? So this is the configuration, right? Of uh, Forti, uh, Dala VPN with using uh, Forti client in the FortiGate firewall, right? So that's how you can configure uh, what? Forti, uh, uh, dialog VPN with using Forti client in the FortiGate firewall. Let me show you uh, the log as well as policy. If you see, so as you can see, let me try to show you matching log as well as. So as you can see that, right? The remote viewer is accessing this uh, machine, right? Now, what I'm going to show you, I will capture the packet at the firewall, right, from, from the VPN users. So actually, uh, there is a problem because I'm using Wi-Fi network now. That's why it is uh, I'm facing the issue. If you are using, uh, uh, if you are doing uh, live uh, in the live scenario, so you will not be able to face this issue, right? So let me diagnose sniffer. Diagnose sniffer. Packet any. What post? So this is the VPN IP address. So I'll use ten dot hundred dot hundred dot one and ICMP four. So as you can see, that traffic is not reaching at the firewall currently. So I'll generate ping from the outside machine. I mean VPN user. So as you can see that I am getting ICMP equal reply and equal request. So as you can see that incoming interface and outgoing interface as well as, right? So now what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you email based two factor authentication in the firewall, how you can configure. So let me show you that. 
so currently can you see that test user so there is no email based two factor authentication available here right so one more thing i would like to show you if you want if you have any email server so you can uh, put you can assign ip address here you can set up email address right so here so here you can set up right you can specify right so i don't have any email services currently so i use default right so as you can see that so uh, so you can you can configure only cli right if you want to um, configure two factor authentication let me show you how you can do so here I have written points right so you can configure uh, using this command right so let me show you in order to configure uh, two factor uh, two factor authentication right email based two factor authentication you have to enter config local config user local right so here you can see if you put so here so as you can see that I have a default, right, which is default user guest. So I have created test, right? So I'll edit, right, edit test user, right? So here you can see set, right? So I want to two factor authentication, right? I want two factor authentication, two factor authentication, right? Enable two factor authentication, email based authentication, I want. So email, let's enter, right, set email, right, set email to, right, set email to my default email, right, and then you can next and end. So now you can, you can see that here, just to refresh this page, you will be able to say that email based to factor authentication under the user right to factor authentication okay email okay so here okay still it is not showing let me check it out again here config system config user Looker edit edit what test user right set email set to factor authentication email right enter set what okay set to factor authentication okay enable set email to okay. okay email has been set up okay let me check it out again so as you can see that here right so that's how you can configure email based to authentication right so this user is already uh, i mean test user uh, is already part of this 40 vpn group so right so once user will connect right let me show you Okay, the moment user will connect this VPN, right? Yeah, it will show here pop up, right? Token, token will be sent via Porti client, Porti gate, right? Let me show you. Currently, there is, if I show you, okay, event, right? Here, as you can see, that there is no uh, tokens has been sent right now. Right, let me initiate the traffic from the physical machine.
the moment the VPN will be connected, uh, you will see here token as well as. So can you see that token has been sent, right? If you see here token has been sent, right? The moment you will enter this token, right? So this token has been sent to this email, right? So once you will enter this token, so you'll be able to connect the VPN, right? This is the two factor authentication with using email based, right? In the 40 client VPN with, right? So as you can see that here, so thank you for watching this video. If you have understood anything from this video, I would like to, I would like to uh, request you please like and subscribe my channel. So thank you for watching this video till the end.